Welcome to the Tattooed Traveler. Man, am I glad you are here for this episode. I'm Todd Newton. This, my friend, is Miami, Florida. Miami, this is it. This is the type of place where you feel the energy the second you step off the plane. If you've been here before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You probably can't wait to get back. If you've never been to Miami, guaranteed it's on your bucket list. We're gonna take a look at that beautiful Art Deco architecture that makes this place famous around the world. We're gonna take a look at a couple iconic landmarks. I'm gonna give you the sense of that nightlife right here on Ocean Avenue in South Beach. And you better believe we're gonna sink our chompers into some really good food. Oh, this is gonna be a good episode. It's the Tattooed Traveler, it's Miami, and here we go. So you say you're getting ready for a trip to Miami. Well, I say I'm jealous. What do you need to bring? Well, of course, your sunscreen, your best bikini, and your attitude. The 1920s is when folks with money started gravitating towards South Beach. The fancy architects known for that Art Deco facade soon followed. And by the 1950s, South Beach was known coast to coast as America's most glamorous beach. Today, some of your favorite celebs call South Beach home. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Oprah, Pitbull, Shakira, Diddy, Sylvester Stallone, Cher, J-Lo, the list goes on and on. People love Miami, of course, because of the sun, the healthy lifestyle, the restaurants, the shopping on Collins Avenue, the parties. It all amounts to an incredible heartbeat in this great city where it is always hot. And I mean that literally and figuratively. That humidity, whew, it'll get you. But it doesn't slow anyone down. Each year, nearly 11 million visitors flock to South Beach. And I don't want to speak for everyone, but I will. A good time is had by all. Now, I know what you're saying. Todd, you've mentioned Miami Beach and you've mentioned South Beach. What's the difference? Well, South Beach is the most famous section of Miami Beach. And as you may have surmised, South Beach is located at the south end of the island. When you arrive, regardless of what part of the island you choose to stay on, there are over 5,500 hotels to choose from in Miami. One of the most popular places to stay is right here on Ocean Drive. Not my first choice, however. It is certainly no secret that Miami South Beach, in particular, has been a playground for the rich and famous for decades. I mean, you can find anything here if you're willing to pay the price. I mean, look at this. Who wouldn't want to come here and play? But before all of the supermodels, before the fashion scene, before Johnny Versace, before all the nightclubs with lines wrapped around the corner on Ocean Avenue, there was, and still is, an iconic hotel located at 4441 Collins Avenue that since the 50s and 60s has been a magnet for some of the biggest names in show business. Sinatra, Elvis, Jackie Gleason, just to name a few. And dare I say, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and I'm gonna call this my favorite hotel on the planet. I welcome you to the Fountain Blue. Now, if things look a little fancy over in this neck of the woods, it's because they are. This is Millionaire's Row, and the Fountain Blue sits on 20 acres of pristine oceanfront property. This architectural masterpiece, there's really no other way to describe it, is a French period themed structure with an ultra modern facade that really is so recognizable to people all over the world that for decades, the Fountain Blue didn't even need a sign. The hotel opened in 1954 and right out of the gate, the stars flocked here. Lucille Ball, Judy Garland, Elvis, as I mentioned, and of course, the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra. He absolutely loved it here. Performed before sold out audiences at the Fountain Blue's La Ronde nightclub, vacationed here personally, even shot a few movies here. 
and occasionally he would surprise his audience by welcoming his fellow Rat Pack members, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, Joey Bishop, Peter Lawford, onto the stage. Wow. It would get so crazy that the hotel owner, a gentleman by the name of Ben Novak, at one point posted armed guards at the entrance to keep gawkers out. Taking you outside now to see this extraordinary pool area with full-service cabanas. Judging by the photos, Frank loved the pool, too. <laughs> the Fountain Blue has 1,500 rooms, 12 restaurants and bars. But the main attraction is right here in the 17,000 square foot lobby. This is called the Stairway to Nowhere. Even though, as you can see as we climb the stairs, it actually leads to a little cloak room, a coat check room. It's been featured in films like Scarface with Al Pacino and The Bodyguard with Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston. And a manager here told me that it was originally built just so ladies of the 50s and 60s could descend these stairs in their finest evening attire and make a grand entrance, allowing folks in the lobby to feast their eyes upon them. But for me, it's just a great photo op. Let's take you back now to Ocean Drive. And I know I mistakenly keep referring to it as Ocean Avenue. I apologize for that. We'll blame it on the humidity. This is 1116 Ocean Drive, the former home of Italian designer Gianni Versace. And it was on these stairs that Versace was shot four times in the back and killed by this man, Andrew Cunanan. That happened on July 15th of 1997. He was only 50 years old. Now, not too many people have seen the inside of his home, which he named Casa Casarina. Until now, that is. It is now a luxury dining experience, a wonderful restaurant called Gianni's. And you shouldn't have too much trouble getting a table if you make your reservations far enough in advance. This was Versace's dining room. Can you imagine the dinner parties he must have had in here? It was originally a 24 apartment structure, which he turned into a single home with eight bedrooms. 10 bathrooms, two kitchens, four living rooms. I just love the open air courtyard feel to this mansion. About 23,000 square feet. And at the time it was the only private residence on Ocean Drive. But this is the piece de la resistance. Versace's 54 foot long mosaic swimming pool lined in 24 karat gold. That's where you want to reserve your table. Now, every morning without fail, Versace himself or one of his assistants would take a right out of Casa Casarina and head down Ocean Drive to the News Cafe. This is where he would pick up his newspapers and magazines for the day. It's about a block, block and a half from the mansion. I used to come here quite a bit back in the 90s. They closed down for two or three years, and when they reopened, it had a considerable tourist vibe to it. I don't recall them ever selling t-shirts and coffee mugs, but then again, I guess they have to. Who buys newspapers anymore? Luckily, the history of Miami and South Beach still lines the walls here, and they have the best Cuban sandwich on Ocean Drive. The best. Are you ready for this? This is triple layer Cuban goodness right here, my friend. No one in the Tattooed Traveler Party leaving the News Cafe hungry today, that's for sure. But eat what you want. It's Miami. Indulge. Because believe me when I tell you, as soon as that sun starts to set, you're going to have plenty of opportunities to burn off those calories. This is when Ocean Drive comes alive. Maybe you want to start off kind of easy. Begin your night out with a nice mojito to get into the rhythm. Another good piece of advice is take a nap during the day because the bars and clubs here on South Beach, they stay open until 5 a.m. And you don't want to be the one that leaves the party early. Like I told you at the top of this video, my friend, there is something for everyone in Miami. From DJs, to loud and rowdy drag shows, to some dude singing with a girl dancing alongside him on an elevated stage in a crowded club. I don't know, it's Miami. That's what travel's all about, making memories, creating stories that you can tell when you get back home. 
even if those stories include a bass that pounds so hard you can feel your heartbeat rise. Woo! You know it's been a good trip to South Beach when you're sweating like this. I love it. Miami, thank you so much. You never, ever, ever disappoint. You're like a, like a juicy cheeseburger. You knock it out of the park every single time. But most of all, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video if you would, please. Subscribe to the Tattoo Traveler YouTube channel if you haven't already. And tell all your friends about us. We are growing like crazy worldwide. I love it. I appreciate it. And make sure you grab your Tattoo Traveler t-shirt, hoodie, coffee mug, luggage tag. You can find all of that goodness down in the link in the description. Until we meet again a little further down the road, I'm Todd Newton, the Tattoo Traveler. Safe travels, my friend.